Welcome to Team Exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, of course, we are back with a brand new episode of... What are we doing today? Of the Plymouth Argyle career mode. Now, I've been having a bit of a think about it. It's been a few days since we did the last episode. I've been having, having a look around at what kind of players we can actually buy or sign. I, d I can loan people. That is obviously an option, but I hate loaning people just because, I, I don't know, it just, it just sucks. I'd rather... I know it seems more counterproductive, but... I'd much rather just buy somebody. Um, and I've also decided probably just to sack off the, the entire realism. You know, the whole rule about no icons. Because I figured that if we just sign some icons that are helpful, that obviously help us win win stuff. Uh, and also, you know, they'll grow with potential. And also they'll grow with value. So we could sell them on and just make absolute profit and basically cheat the system. So I basically listed in my transfer hub all of the icons that are in the game that are not currently signed for a team. So all the ones that are left as free agents that we could possibly sign. There's obviously quite a few good ones like Rude Hullet and stuff like that. So um, I probably will be trying to do that. Maybe some centre-backs, that kind of stuff. I've also tried to list some free agents that look terrifying. Um, where was the, There was this guy. He looks absolutely... like he, he just He's a goalkeeper. He's 31. He looks uh, terrifying. Um, so he's obviously a good option. <laughs> don't know. Really don't know. But there's quite a few good centre-backs and uh, stuff like that. Free agents that uh, have potential in my eyes. A um, few people that maybe just wants to keep an eye on for the future. I don't think anybody that's... The, the problem I've got is anybody that's really for a big club or that plays for a big club currently just won't sign for us because we are um, Plymouth Argyle. That's pretty much the only reason. So they see our name and they think, Ugh, I'm back in like FIFA 16. Kyle Beckerman, 38 years old. He's lost his hair. He used to have big uh, dreadlocks, but uh, that, that sucks. That sucks. Kyle Beckerman. Kyle Beckerman. Damn. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Of course, the next best thing to Kyle Beckerman is, of course... Yep, you've guessed it. Rude Hullin. Let's have a let's have a look. So I wonder how much kind of wages they would actually ask to uh to to sign for us because we don't have a lot. So if they ask for more than like 16k, then then obviously we can't do it. But we'll, we'll see. You know, you never know. Well, there we go. We have uh we've now officially signed Rude Hullet for the club. Only 3,600 wages, which is uh actually pretty good to be honest. Actually pretty good. What I'm gonna quickly do is I'm just going to uh. Knock that up in there because um, we don't really need money to actually buy people. They're all free. So all we need is available wages to actually get some of these players. So uh, the next one I'm going to go for is Big Boy Rio. I should just delegate the sign for these, shouldn't I? Just wasting my life sitting here doing this. This is so stupid. Well, there we go. So there is another player signed for the team. You do love to see it. Uh, Rio Ferdinand only on 1.1k wages. It's pretty mental. It's pretty mental. So as long as we can have some like decent, decent-ish centre backs, um, I do want to see what this guy's about because he's a free agent. You know, I don't all want to sign just icons because I think that's a bit boring. But having a few that would help us at least um, help us a few, uh, just just be somewhat competitive. You know, that's all we need. At the, at the start stage anyway to hopefully fast track us up to uh you know at least getting towards the premier league so i believe we're in league two so you know anything that can, can kind of make this process a bit quicker would be ideal but uh this guy's obviously a free agent he's 24 years old i don't really ha think he's got too many prospects but um you, you never know i mean the thing is he can't be any worse than the ones we've already got surely surely that's not possible Surely it's not possible, but we'll see, I guess. Maybe he's, like, 12 rated and got, like, no feet. When looking for a release clause, I doubt anybody's going to want to pay your release clause, even if you had one. And even if you had one, it'd probably be, like, 12 quid. So, I mean, the guy down down the local corner shop could probably pay for it, so I wouldn't worry too much about a release clause. I'm going to do 2k. Oops. Uh, and signing bonus, 2k. We'll see what they say. 2k on both. What are you saying? 
He seems happy. Ah, right, cool. Well, never mind. Fair enough. Bit of an insult. Bit of an insult. Is it? Okay, well, you're a free agent, so good luck finding a fucking another club then. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we've got a few players currently on the uh, on the old watch list. Sounds a bit dodgy, but uh, that is what's what's happening. We'll see if um, any of them actually come back as results. I put a lot to delegate to buy, uh, or delegate to sign, should I say, for um, you know specific amounts, and we'll, we'll see what happens. I guess we'll see what happens. So Telford sold, so that's quite good. Um, got five hundred fifty thousand in the bank, so you do. Love to see it. So the go the goalkeeper we signed is 69 rated. It's obviously 31 years old, but um, you know he looks like a he looks like a beast. Ironically, 69. So uh, you do love to see it. But we'll stick him in there. See how he goes. He's got 50 sharpness. So I wonder if that could play a factor or not. But not bad. He looks pretty uh, pretty tragic. I actually don't think it matters. We're already we're already kind of qualified, aren't we? So we'll just. Uh, We'll just quick sim. So I'm pretty sure we're going to lose anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, we came close, to be fair. They scored three, we scored two. We actually got the goals. So Beckham and Mayer. You do love to see it. You do love to see it. David Beckham getting a goal on his debut. It's always uh, things you do love to see. And hopefully we've got a few more that have come back and hopefully accepted our, uh, our arrangements. So we've got Kaka and Eto both accepted. Very, very nice. Always ideal to have a backup uh, backup striker. I do have Eddie Nketiah, who's going to be my first team striker for pretty much forever. But you never know. It's always uh, If he gets injured or something, it's always good to have a bit of a backup. So we've also got 360,000 uh, big ones in the bank. It's always quite nice. We'll just knock that up a little bit as well, just in case. Um, right, okay. Now I'm hoping these uh, will make things a little bit easier this is the idea anyway to make playing in league two a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit easier obviously i do want to keep some players that are from plymouth Argyle. i don't want everybody to be icons even though pretty much everybody already is icons but you know we're trying to keep it somewhat half and half and then uh just keep some as backups possibly just keep some as backups and try and actually use some of them so what we're saying for transfers so Marquinhos has gone to Bayern. A lot of the icons, like Ronaldo, who else went to Bayern? Can't remember. There was a there's a few that Bayern picked up, which I, I thought was quite interesting. Got Guerrero going to Chelsea. Seems quite a realistic one, actually. To be fair, uh, got Cody going from Wolves to West Ham. We got uh, Mina from Everton going to Munchen Gladbach. Servi Benfica to Lazio. Didn't he go that way to Benfica and then? Interesting. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe that's someone different. Uh, we've got Eggstein going from Word of Bremen to Sheffield United. Interesting. Uh, you got Lopez from Atletico Bilbao to Southampton. Bender to uh, Atlanta. That is interesting because I'm pretty sure Ooh, he's pretty old, isn't he? So yeah, he's 31. Maybe maybe he's not quite retiring in career mode just yet. We've got uh, Bumgartner to Porto. Franco. Roger, you got King going to Freiburg. Interesting. Willem's going to Salzburg. Perez going back into La Liga. Very interesting. <laughs> Akinpom going to La Liga. That would be a horrendous transfer. Especially for uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. Because uh, that would be horrendous. Pearson going to Valencia. Interesting. What was that? Perez going to Racing Club. That's weird, but also interesting. Uh... Dallas going to Usana. Usna? I don't know how you pronounce it. Vidra. Mate Vidra going to Frankfurt. That is very interesting. From uh, from Burnley going to Frankfurt. Alan Patrick. Wow, okay. Thomas Ince. I believe his name is Thomas Ince. Going to Union Berlin. Wow. That's crazy. He was one of those silvers I used back in like FIFA 15, 16. Head up with, I think, like a silver Danny Ings. Um, crazy. Well, there you go. But anyway, we're going to play this game out. Uh, obviously, that is the team we're rocking with. It's uh, pretty insane. Uh, pre pretty, pretty insane. Obviously, got Kaka, Ronaldinho, Beckham, and Enketi up top with Hullet and Watts in the midfield. Cooper, Carlos Alberto, and Fernandinho. Uh, Fer Ferdinand, sorry, with Moore and 
Well, we'll call him Gobbo. We'll call him Gobbo for now. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, I'm going to put in my left back of main choice, which is uh, Opaku? Upaku? Literally no idea. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a day when we ever see a Plymouth Argyle team quite like this? I mean, any kind of team like this, to be fair. Um, uh, to be fair, maybe teams like AC Milan or, or Real Madrid, Barcelona back in the day when they had all those top tier icons. Even those the teams now, I suppose, are quite quite insane. But teams with just this many iconic players, it's just it's just unheard of. Unheard of. Look at that goalkeeper. It looks nothing like his picture. In fairness, my manager looks nothing like me either. But uh, see how things go. Obviously, semi-final, I do want to try and do... Right, well, okay. Uh, I did I did forget about that. I knew there was something dodgy when I saw that pass going 400 miles per hour. But uh, yeah, mental. Lucky I, I noticed that quickly. Otherwise, that could have been bad. Hullet looks massive as well. I've never actually used Hullet in any, in any FIFA going. But he looks absolutely huge, man. I guess that's why he's so good. But come on, make the tackle. No. Nope. Got big boy Rio. You do love to see it. Right, Kaka making the run. Can he get there? He still gets there. Yeah, with the pace. The pace. He's going to pass it into Enketia. Oh, I tried to do a skill, skill goal and it failed. But Enketia. Yo, hold on. I don't know what happened. I have no idea what's going on. The AI feels so weird. I don't know. I'm going to have to check what difficulty it's on. After this game. But hopefully we can still just win it anyway. Um, a ruthless challenge against Nketiah. Absolutely no need for it whatsoever. Absolutely no need for it whatsoever. We're going to uh, give it to... How much is his pens? 82. That's pretty decent. But we're going to give it to uh, big boy Eddie who's going to uh, put this in the back of the net. He did win the pen, so... Okay. Come on. Easy tap in. There we go. Finally, Eddie Nketiah scores. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Literally six attempts by the main man. He just hasn't been able to score. I don't know what's happening. Really don't. Yeah, he's taking it. What we're saying. Eddie Nketiah from there... Wow, okay. I mean, maybe he's been listening. Maybe he's been listening. Jesus Christ. Oh, skinned him. Oh. Literally all over these, these fucking clowns right now. Eddie? Eddie? He's coming off the pitch. Last goal before he gets off the pitch. Bang. Bang, there you go. Eddie Nketiah gets a third. I think that's his third. Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. But there we go. He backs a hat-trick before he comes off the pitch. You do love to see it. Anyway, there we go. There's half-time. It's, uh, it's pretty conclusive. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty conclusive. 3-0. I'm going to... Uh, I wanted to... Um, jump to result there we go so we'll just see what happens 3-0 that's pretty much what i thought um suppose it only shows one eddie and ketty miss when he missed like four or five times i'm gonna check the difficulty because that was pretty easy and i don't want to make it too easy on myself i'm kind of already making it easier than it should be with the uh the whole icon stuff but okay right well that would explain a lot so i have no idea why it was set to amateur I haven't changed it. I haven't even played on this thing since uh, since the last recording. So brilliant. Well, there we go. Um, we have four. I mean, not that it really matters. To be fair, it's the European International Cup, isn't it? So who who actually gives a fuck? But we'll leave those for now. There's nobody of really that much interest. So I'll leave those. Even though they would they would be probably better than a lot of the players I've currently got in. But it, it really doesn't matter. Sign two players of the same nationality as the club. Like, what, what? What is the point in that? Why? Why would you even need that brand exposure? Who actually gives a fuck? Within two seasons, have at least one player from Youth Academy signed in the first team and play at least 50 games. Probably should set that up, actually. So we've got El Nash, 78-94. 
overall 59. I mean, that's pretty good. Five star skills, five star weak foot. Hold the phone. Hold on. Leo Nash. Five star skills. <laughs> Where is he? Right mid, right wing? I'm going to try and make him a cam. He looks like he could do quite well as a cam. So I'm definitely going to sign uh, Leo Nash though. Five star skills, five star weak foot. That's pretty big. All right, let's, uh, let's jump straight into the final anyway. Obviously uh, up against uh, Bolog Bol Bologna. I don't know how you pronounce it. I do apologize. Either way, they've got a very good team. Same formation. They've also got Palacio up top, uh, Sanson, Sansone. Um, I mean, besides that, I really don't know the rest of their team, to be honest. So, yeah, it can't be overly amazing. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how things go. It's on Legendary. Just, uh, just literally nothing I can do. Can't even get close to the AI to even, even potentially uh, think about stopping them. Run. Got Kaka through the middle. Bang! There we go. Back into the game. You do love to see it. You do love to. I, this this team is so awful, man. It's so difficult. So difficult. I really thought it would be a lot easier having the, uh, the icons. I mean, definitely having Rio at the back is. You know, 100% cheating. I ain't going to deny that at all. But, um, trying to play with fucking Eddie Nketi is actually hurting my soul. Oh, Leo Nash running on through. Can he get his first goal for the club? Bang! Yes, he can. 50 something rated. Leo Nash bangs one. You do love to see it. You do love to see it. I mean, he obviously couldn't have the name Leo Messi because that was taken, so. He had to go with the next best thing. Oh, Kaka, he actually got that. That was such a good pass. I have no idea who that dude was. But Kaka is going to put a good ball in to the back stick. Great tackle. Got Eddie going on through again. Come on, Eddie. We need you to score this, please. Bang! Yes! Let's go. Eddie Nketia bags us a third. And... Where is my... Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have it. It's Karim, obviously. But that should be, hopefully, the victory secured. I don't want to say too much, because... Never mind. Go on, big head. Bang. Nope. Well, I mean, it was worth a try, I guess. It was worth a try. God knows it was never going to go in, but still. Hey, oh. Naughty little finish by Eddie Nketiah, and that uh, that secures the dub. I have no idea what the AI tried to do or, or did do there, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it. You hate to see it. You hate to see it, and also you love to do it. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Sucks to suck. Sucks to be this, this AI having to be trapped in the corner. <laughs> You'd love to see it. And there we go. There should be the first trophy of uh, the hopefully many to come. Eddie with two. I've got Leo Nash with one and obviously uh, Kaka with one as well. Big, big things. Big things. The European International Cup is ours. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I just want to get out of here. Okay, cool. So 4-1. Pretty easy stuff. I mean, it was legendary. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's still a bit too easy. Maybe it is. We'll, uh, we'll play the, the actual main season bit uh, and see how things go. If it's still too easy, then uh, we'll knock it up to... Wait, can we even knock it up any higher? Ultimate. Okay, so there is there is another one. Ultimate. Uh, yeah. We'll go to that if, if need be. But uh, we've got 540,000 big uns in the bank. I guess uh, we just have to progress until we eventually get to the uh get to the uh, start of the season of the if or oh, league one okay so league one then we'll go up to the championship and then we'll go up to the prem so a little way off our actual main target who the fuck is that guy <laughs> we got luke jepko i literally had no idea you were part of the team so striker age 20 see you later bud 
So yeah, this is really interesting because obviously I want to keep an eye on some of the icons that we've got in there to see which ones are free agents and uh, which ones are going to clubs. So uh, Litmanen gone off to Inter Milan. You do love to see it. And then Ronald Koeman has gone off to Spurs. So interesting stuff. No one else has picked up anybody else. Liverpool has gone in for Drogba. It's a bit controversial, isn't it? When they've uh, completely forgotten about uh, Fernando Torres. Bit sucky. Anyone else picked up anyone else? So doesn't look like it but we do have some scout reports on these uh these donnies that i've been looking at so obviously camavinga he's one for the future not one for currently he is obviously uh very expensive i it's 26 mil that's just you know i wouldn't be able to afford it unfortunately if he ever becomes a free agent you never you never know but uh yeah all these uh these guys still waiting but um cam from leicester i mean he's 20 and he looks i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie he looks pretty terrible so i'm not going to really bother he's not willing to relocate anyway so it's, it's pretty pointless uh he looks tragic <sighs> he's 26 and he, look, he looks awful absolutely awful um he doesn't look bad i mean for a cm i'm kind of in that need of a uh, of that player in that position but uh anybody that can kind of defend which he seemingly can't um, we'll, we'll scout some of these people i don't think one they would want to relocate just yet uh, and if they did, I'd be very surprised. But also, um, yeah, they're probably quite expensive as well. So, and that's kind of where you know I'm, I'm letting my expectation, I'm putting my expectation on the floor. So we've actually got a chance of actually getting somebody for our team. But I mean, at this rate, the players we've got with the uh, icons and stuff could just be good to hold on to, I suppose. Okay, so I think that's probably a good place to end this episode anyway. We've done quite a lot. Obviously, got through the, the rest of the transfer window, got rest, uh, got through the rest of the cup as well, which we managed to win and get some money for the next potential transfer window. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably a good place to end it. Obviously, this is the start of the season. So um, there will be, obviously, the next episode, there'll be probably, it'll probably be just games up until the January transfer window. Um, so we've got quite a lot to go through and hopefully... We can uh, we can beat League One and then move up to the Championship. And the idea is eventually to get to the Premier League. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Either way, that is a good place to end today's episode. So hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, of course, please do drop it a like. That would be very, very much appreciated. Of course, uh, if you want to see more of this content and you haven't already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But... With that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.